Hey guys, this is Tommy Get Your Big Fan here. I'm here with um yet another Tamagotchi review. This time I'm talking about the music style. So here we go. As you can see, I have three music stars. Um, I got this first music star right where I live. It was at Walmart, and yeah, my yeah. And this one I got when I went to Toronto, and this one I got for Christmas. So there you go, awesomeness right there. Uh, okay. So first things first. I'm going to just start out by talking about the pause button, because the pause, it just, you know, the pause button tends to be a problem sometimes with these Tamagotchis. Okay, first, let's just take a look at the, my V5 point, I mean, V4.5 here. Look at how easy it is to take it on and off pause. You press the first button, and then the middle button, and bam, he's paused. Now, with the V5 and the V5.5, they decided to get rid of the simple first and second button pause feature and replace it with this stupid travel mode feature. Now, the travel mode feature takes a while, and it's not as, like, it just, it shouldn't take that long to pause a Tamagotchi. It just, it shouldn't. Now... Here, we're faced with a slight dilemma. Now, obviously, it's late. It's, like, tw midnight. And my Tamagotchis are all asleep. So if I were to take them off pause, then I'd be putting them back on pause again because these... I don't know what I was going to say, but... Anyways, they messed up the pause button again. Now, I know that not all the time your Tamagotchi is going to be asleep when you unpause it, but it tends to happen a lot to me. Like, I unpause a, tom I unpause a Tamagotchi thinking, hmm, well, maybe I might be able to play games with it, and then, nope, it's asleep, and... You know, they didn't really mess it up. I mean, it's still there. I really should just get to my point here because I seem to be rambling on. They messed it up. Now, if you try doing the little trick I taught you a few seconds ago, pressing the first button and then the middle button, it doesn't work. Because as soon as you press the first button when a Tamagotchi music star is asleep, it goes straight to the menu. There's no just being able to select other things like if if one of these tamagotchis for example is asleep you don't have to just like as soon as you press the first button you still have the ability to you know look around i mean you can't play games you can't use the toilet you can't connect you can't feed it obviously so that kind of cancels out everything except the menu, and the friends list. So, you know, that isn't really a problem. It really isn't a problem, you know? Because you don't always want to look at your friends list, but it's a lot easier to pause it. But here, you know, you press the first button and it goes to menu, and if you try pressing the middle button first, it goes to that stupid clock thing. Now, luckily the clocks move a lot faster. Still not as fast as, well, it should, be. I don't know. I think the V5 and V5.5 have the record for being the fastest at going to the clock. Which would come in handy if they didn't get rid of the pause button. But, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm still doing this. Um, so... The only way to pause a Tamagotchi when it's asleep is to press the first and second button perfect timing. Press these two at the same time. Now, that isn't really easy to do because if you're like me and you have the earlier ones, you just press first and second, bam, it's paused. But here, no. It takes trial and error to pause your Tamagotchi and it shouldn't be like that. You had it right the first time. Then you get rid of it, 
or no, then you make it harder to get to. And you know, I found a Kawinky Dink with these two. They're both impossible to do when your Tamagotchi's asleep. But here, it's just you can pause them whenever. And it's funny, it's kind of ironic, really, because these are the ones you're gonna have on pause the most if you like play with all the other ones like me. And I'm about to tell you why. Now, they really went far with the attention thing. Now, you usually don't have to give your Tamagotchis that much attention. Like, you can leave them off pause. You can just let them sit there. And slowly, they'll, like, just very slowly, like, every hour or so, they'll be, they'll get rid of one little heart thing from the menu. They'll get a little less happy and a little more hungry. But, you know, you can feed them. You don't have to, like, you know, worry about them dying because, obviously, it'll beep. But here, they just mess that up. Here. Your Tamagotchi needs attention every second of every waking day. If you leave it unattended for even five minutes, stuff is going to happen, and you do not want any of this stuff to happen. So, they added a stress meter. It's not really a meter, it's just a number that keeps going up higher and higher. A stress meter. So... You know, it kind of makes sense, because in real life, you know, a Tamagotchi would probably get stressed out if it's left unattended, but, you know, people don't really... Kids! Because kids are the one who plays with... Kids are the people who play with these. It's not grown people who, you know, nobody... No grown adult has actual time to actually take actual care of these properly. And I kind of come to a conclusion that they're just supposed to be like a little pet. Like, you don't always have to be taking your pet for a walk or constantly playing fetch with your dog. Like, you can just be laying on a couch next to your dog or your cat or your goldfish or your piranha dinosaur donkey thing. And, you know, you don't always have to be... You know, but this stress meter, it it really does get in the way. I'm just going to leave it at that. If the stress number goes up too high, your Tamagotchi won't do anything for you. You can't play games with it to make it down. You can't feed it if it's hungry. And you can't take the stress down because it's in, like, stressed out mode and there's nothing you can do it's stressed out and i've tried resetting my tamagotchi when that happened nothing worked so what did i do i literally reset my tamagotchi i had to start over because the stress number was so high that it was just like blocked out it was a hundred and something and i don't know how that happened because i just left it there it was practicing its instrument even the slightest thing makes your Tamagotchi stressed out or unhappy. If you're playing a game with another Tamagotchi, it's going to get stressed out. And you don't want that to happen. What, Granny? Oh, thank you. You don't want that to happen. Because then, of course, you have to make it happy again. And nobody, no human being on Earth actually has that much time to take care of these, so. What was I talking about again? Oh, yes, the stress beer. Um, yeah, this is already almost ten minutes long, but I'm still not done. This, like, really, they really went overboard with the stress thing. I know it might not seem that bad, but if you practice the instrument with your Tamagotchi to sort of get the points up, it's going to get stressed out. Every five seconds it goes up. Five stress numbers. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't really pay attention. But nobody really has time to pay attention. I know I don't. I have nine other 
I have 600 Tamagotchis to take care of. I don't have time to constantly be playing with these three. They don't get some special attention just because they have a fancy stress bar. But, no. Like... So then, they messed up the feeding option. Now, usually, if your Tamagotchi is hungry, you'd go to the food thing and feed it. But here, if your Tamagotchi is a toddler, not a baby, an actual toddler, or a kid, or an adult, or a teenager, or whatever the case may be, it won't eat the food that it starts out with, which is baby food and milk. You can't give your Tamagotchi milk for a snack to make it happy. You can't give your Tamagotchi baby food for food if it's hungry. You have to go to the store and buy it food. Like, nobody... I don't have money to do that because I rarely play these because I have to worry about the stress meter. I'm stressing out about the stress meter. And, you know, the stress meter is already too high to begin with. So you can't go shopping. You can't play games to get more money to feed the Tamagotchi. To buy food to feed the Tamagotchi to make it happy to bring the stress down because it's too stressed out. And I know that probably made absolutely no sense at all. It didn't make sense to me either. It's just so confusing and mind-twistingly crazy that, you know, there's something, like, you know, you started out with the starting out with the Tamagotchis. They were golden, wonderful, awesome, perfect, flawless, just awesome. And then we go to the V5. 5.5 and they got rid of the pause button and they got rid of a lot of other cool things like I don't know I can't really think of anything offhand because I'm so frustrated and then we just keep getting lower and lower down the line and it just keeps getting worse and worse and you know it really sort of makes it so that you really need to give them constant attention and that's something that most people don't have, which is what I keep saying, but that's just sort of why it's not my favorite Tamagotchi. It, it's just sort of frustrating and annoying, because I've had to reset my Tamagotchi so many times. It's really just so stupid how easily it gets stressed out. So, no, this is already almost 13 minutes long it's 13 minutes long so I'm gonna end this now I'm really frustrated and really angry because of this and now my headache is worse so thank you for watching and I'm gonna be back with my final video the time ago so that should be just fantastic I'm going to see you later now. Bye.